Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be discussing jumbo sets. These are these multi-pack sets that have usually between like 8 to 12 puzzles in them. They're relatively affordable and I just want to explore this topic a little bit here on my channel because they're a great way to save on space maybe save on money. And I wanted to see which ones were out there, which ones were a good deal and good quality. So today I have two here. I have this one from Cardinal. This is called Autumn Landscapes. And these are all just like fall festive type of puzzles. They range for 150 pieces to 500 pieces. This one is a little bit hard to find online, but I know a few of you have gotten yours at Walmart. That's where I got mine as well. And it retailed for around, I want to say like $12. So you're pretty much paying like a dollar per puzzle, which is even less than the Dollar Tree. So this is the first one that I have. And the second one I have here, a bit more expensive. This one I got at, from Puzzle Warehouse, and this is by Masterpieces. It retails to just over $2 per puzzle. And they have a variety of different versions of this. This is their newest one, so maybe that's why it's a little bit more expensive, but I just wanted to see what these were like. I will show you some of the different pieces and puzzles. We will do one of the 500 pieces from both of these today, just so you can see what they look like. And also, if you see other sets or brands that I should be into, let me know down in the comments. It'd definitely be a great affordable option, especially for those who just want a ton of puzzles or maybe you're short on space. Like having 12 puzzles in one box just sounds like a good idea to me. So let's just explore this topic. We'll go over to the puzzle table and I'll show you what I've done already. All right, so we are here and I have both of them right next to me. And I wanted to just go like point by point of what I've experienced so far. What does each box look like? What does the pieces look like? How has my experience been? And I will say for both brands, they do have a variety of different piece counts and images. So this is just based off the ones I got. Let's first go into Cardinal. I'm gonna go over the box, the images, how my experience has been so far. And then at the end of like me comparing these two will go over the 500 pieces which I haven't done yet so this may change my opinion on them first up the cardinal one again I remember paying around $12 it was like 12 to 14 I want to say it was around the $12 mark I got it in store at Walmart I know a few of you also have gotten it in store at Walmart but if you can't find this one there's other variations of cardinal multi sets on Amazon that I can link down below if you're curious um, of this concept maybe not necessarily this one but the concept um, this one carries 150 to 500 piece puzzles. There are other variations that carry higher piece counts, but I liked doing this smaller piece count because all the images are autumn themed, which for me is totally up my alley, but I don't normally like doing a ton of photograph landscape type puzzles in the larger piece count. So to have a nice variety of different fall images in a style I normally don't do in smaller piece counts is really great because I can get all my fall feels out I try some different image styles without having to break the bank and get a ton of new puzzles. It's also great if you are newer to puzzling to have something like this, either one of them, because you can start off at a smaller piece count and then kind of work your way up as you get comfortable. Or what I've been doing recently, I've been kind of testing my speed puzzling and it's actually good to start at a smaller piece count to get the groove of being so fast. Um, and then move up and gradually increase your speed. As far as images go, they're pretty much like stock images. Um, you're not gonna have crazy licensed artist type images. Um, I'm not sure where they're getting them. But one thing about the Cardinal image that the Masterpieces does better at is there's no bigger picture of the image. Now you aren't doing these huge extreme puzzles for me. I can see what I'm doing on the box and I will say if you are turning the box any which way you will have the image shown but I do wish there was like a separate item to zoom in you know there's no way for me to zoom in on the image so you're working with a really really small image to complete the puzzle I think that would definitely be challenging if you're doing a larger piece count but for me with these ones I, I can do it fine without the image in general but it would be nice especially if you're near to puzzles to have an option to have a, a bigger image. Now, one thing that you can do is maybe take a picture of the image, zoom in on your phone, that is an option. Or if you are buying it online, maybe you can zoom in on that particular picture. For me, that is one downside. I am able to manage fine, but it is something I want to point out. 
Um, for this one so far, I have done all of the 300 and all of the 150 piece puzzles, and I love them. Um, now, something with this type of puzzle set is that you're going to have the same exact grid cut for each puzzle. For me, that's not an issue. I'm not going like piece by piece to do the puzzle. Um, so that is like a fine thing for me if you are wanting to experiment with like mixing images. Um, that would be really fun to like make really cool puzzle art, but that doesn't bother me whatsoever to have the same grid cut. Um, for the 150 pieces, you do have a variety of piece shapes, same with the 300. And as far as the quality goes for these puzzles, I actually am pleasantly surprised. The 150 piece, I'll just pick one up, it does have a really good fit. Um, it has a nice decent amount of shine, nothing too crazy. You know, it's just like a standard puzzle. The piece size is definitely on the smaller end, but perfectly manageable for me. And I do appreciate the image and the coloring. I will say for me, the image is slightly cropped than the image that you're seeing on the box, but it's not a big deal. Um, and again, I did like trying some different images that are definitely on the harder end for me in a smaller piece count. I normally don't do photographs. I normally don't do landscapes. I normally don't do a ton of pet images. Um, so it was fun to kind of experiment with them so far. And I'm excited to do the five horn piece one today, which I think will be the one that's this one here. I don't have any names for any of these images, but it's going to be, I'm hoping, the one with the mountains. Now for this part, it is a bit tricky because I wish the bags were numbered or something so that way you can make sure you're getting the right puzzle. But it's just trial and error of like, I want one with a ton of grass in it, which is what I can see in the picture. So hopefully I am grabbing the correct one, which might actually, I don't think it's that one. Let me see which one it is. Oh, it's this one, because it has a bunch of sky pictures. It puzzle pieces. So we'll take that one out to do the five hundred pieces and Try that one out in just a little bit. So moving into the masterpieces one, I'm going to be a little bit more harsh as far as the judging goes. This one is really fun and bright, definitely a different image style than the autumn one. Um, this one has a ton of fun illustrations from the more classic images to puppies to pigs to more of a fantasy style. We have some fun landscapes that are bright and colorful. So if you are wanting something a little bit brighter, maybe easier images, I feel like this is a better way to go. Um, I did do some of them already and they're just really fun images, really bright, really colorful, lots of detail. Um, if you're not a fan of photographs, I would say go with this version instead just because I feel like the images are definitely a broader range of images. So as, as far as images go, I do really like them. Um, and also, this is a great option to do if you are, again, newer to puzzling or wanting to increase your puzzling speed. It has a nice variety of images that are bright, colorful, and fun, and they go from smaller to bigger piece counts. This one also has a pretty similar sized box. Um, I think it's just slightly thicker, but the thing I had issues with with this box, and I've had issues with this type of box in the past, is that instead of it having a flip top where you can just like reseal it at the end, this one has the way where you have to like cut it open. And I struggle with that. So many times have I cut through the wrong side and ruined the box. So I ended up just going in on the top and breaking it open this way, which also does not really do the best work because uh, now I just have this flap. It doesn't really seal anymore. So box wise, not a fan. Um, I just wish it was either something as a normal box. Like I'm so used to boxes just like opening up nowadays that something like this just seems very old school. Like I'm in the 90s and doing a puzzle that way where you had to like cut through. And again, I'm just not that skilled at it. So maybe, maybe you don't have issues. Maybe that's not a, a thing for you. But for me, I went this route perfectly fine, but it does make it harder to seal back up. So for me, Cardinal definitely wins on the box design. Um, it does also show you all of the images, which is great. Um, and they also include, unlike the Cardinal one, a poster, which gives you all the images as a bigger 
standalone image, which is awesome because now I can use this when I'm puzzling, prop it up somewhere and have something tangible to see and bring close to my face. And you know, definitely easier, especially if you're a beginner and you wanting to have the full image available, definitely a better route to go. As far as the piece quality goes so far, I feel like they're very similar as far as shine goes. They're almost identical. Um, I will say that the 100 piece puzzles do you all have twos, so they don't have the variety piece counts that the Cardinal one does. Um, and I did actually have a lot of false fits with the 100 piece puzzles, which was kind of annoying. Um, so, I mean, they're easier enough puzzles for me that it's not that big of a deal, but I know some of you just can't do false fits whatsoever. And this one definitely, I experienced it with the 100 piece ones. For this one, I definitely experienced some things that I just wasn't a huge fan of but again for the price point I do think it is worth the money um, but I can see how it can be kind of frustrating for some. So we're also going to take out a 500 piece puzzle from this one as well and we'll just we'll just go with whichever one's on top which is this one I think this is like the, the kitchen scene works for me so very similar concept where the puzzle pieces come in plastic bags you may want to get some maybe some ziplocs to use afterwards if you want to store them away afterwards but here we have the cardinal one and here we have the masterpieces one so let's just show you these up close here are hopefully it's focused um, here are some of the pieces for the cardinal puzzle. Again, they have a little shine to them. They do have a variety of piece cuts. And as far as the thinness, it, it feels fine. You know, it definitely is not a Ravensburger puzzle, but as far as like the piece thickness, it feels okay. Like I'm going to be completely fine doing this, but we'll see how it is for the fit and such. I was going to show you some of the pieces for the masterpieces one. Here are some of the pieces from the Masterpieces one. Shine, almost identical. Um, thickness, pretty similar. This one is a bit different though, that each puzzle does have a different printing on the back so you can tell which puzzle is which, which is good if you're going to be doing a ton of them and are going to break them down. Um, you can have the correct puzzle pieces together. Um, but as far as surface wise, these ones are a bit bigger on some of the pieces, but thinness is pretty much the same. So let's do both of these puzzles and I can see what they're both like. I didn't realize when I was filming this puzzle that pretty much all of my camera batteries were all dead so I don't have too much to share with you here as far as the video goes but I did end up sorting out the sky and the pavement. Now with this puzzle I did notice a lot of false fits with the cardinal. Um, and unfortunately with it being such a difficult puzzle that was definitely a hindrance for this brand I had to sort out the pieces by piece shape to help me out but I would say there was a lot of false fits going on now in the end I was able to complete the puzzle and it did turn out beautifully but the false fits is definitely something I would be weary of if you're trying to accomplish some puzzle images you're normally not used to. Now I'm not normally a huge sorter but I did sort a little bit more in the masterpieces puzzle just because there are so much fun things to sort by. So I of course sorted out the edges, I did the clock, I did the brick wall and the curtains. And then I sorted out a few more things here and there, but in general I ended up just picking out like a whole bunch of pieces at once because there's just so much stuff to work from in this puzzle. It was not a hard puzzle whatsoever. And I just really liked the piece shapes because even though they are the traditional piece shapes, they had a variation in sizes and there were some that had a couple extra notches. So it was something at least a little bit different than your traditional grid, which I really appreciated. I really enjoyed this image a lot and the piece fit was lovely. I didn't have a single false fit. The coloring was beautiful and overall I just really had a fun time with this puzzle. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Yeah. You're cute. All right, I 
I am back. So as I mentioned earlier, I did have some fit issues with the cardinal puzzle. There's a lot of false fits, but I still was able to finish the puzzle. So if it was maybe an easier image, I don't think it'd be as big of a deal. But when it's something that's as crazy as just like a bunch of leaves, it can be quite tricky. So if you are someone who really does not want to puzzle with false fits, I would say avoid the cardinal because even though I had no issues with the 150 and the 300 piece puzzles, I definitely noticed some issues with the 500 pieces. So that might be a challenge, but I still think for the price point of 12 to $14, I forget how much I paid for it, um, but I do think for the price point, you're still getting decent puzzles, definitely better than say Dollar Tree, and it ends up being about the same price per puzzle. So I do think it's worth the money that you're paying, but I do feel like for me, the masterpieces was just way better for the 500 pieces. For one, I do like the shapes of the pieces a little bit more. It's a little bit different than just plain old grid shapes. It's still normal piece shapes, but it has like a little bit a little bit of variation, which I actually really like. The fit was absolutely phenomenal. Didn't have a single false fit. This may also be because the image for me was a lot easier than say the photograph one, but I do like the overall experience way more with the masterpieces. And for me, it actually does still feel like a typical masterpieces puzzle. I'm not getting like a lesser version of their quality. It does have a really good secure fit. So quality wise, I do think it's much better to go with the Masterpieces one for the larger piece count. The small piece one, I do still kind of prefer the Cardinal ones for the 150 piece, just because you have a variety of different piece shapes and I didn't have any issues with false fits for the smaller piece counts. But honestly, I do really like the master. But I do really like this one. And when I'm actually filming this, they have a sale over, I'm not sure on Amazon, I looked on the Masterpieces website and they have other variations of these 12 piece puzzle sets. They're like four or five different versions. They were actually discounted right now to $18. So I think for $18 for this, definitely worth it. And they do have some variations where they go up to a higher piece count. I think still think for $30, I did look it up, it's $30. Um, it ends up being a pretty good deal. Again, I would definitely recommend something like this if you are newer to puzzling, maybe you wanna increase your speed, or maybe if you just don't have the budget to spend a ton of money on a bunch of new puzzles, this is a great way to just have a variety. Uh, it's also really fun for me. I actually do like the Cardinal one because I'm a huge autumn fan and I'm able to just have like a ton of autumn puzzles all in one box and not to go out and buy like a whole bunch of different ones because I feel like I'm set even though I did buy some but I still feel like I'd be set for a while if I had gotten this for like a single season versus getting like a whole bunch of different puzzles. I feel like I'm over explaining this but I do want you to take away that both of these I think are worth their price point. I do prefer the Masterpieces one better, but I would also like to know your experience with them, so please let me know down in the comments below. Also, I still would love to experiment with other variations of this type of thing, so please give me your suggestions of which brands you want to see. I know I have done several others in the past, but never really filmed it, but I think it'd just be a fun like occasional series here on my channel. I do also have a bits and pieces one that's just like a four pack, which also might be fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hoped it was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning into this one. And if you're not subscribed, I would love if you joined our little family here. I do also have a Facebook group and an Instagram if you would like more content, but that's it for me. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.